Community Peer Mentor Project is looking to support vulnerable and isolated people in our communities who are affected by antisocial behaviour, neighbourly disputes or victims of crime or other life significant event um, which has put that person in a place where they become high impact users on the emergency services. We get referrals from all different organisations, whether it be A&E, it could be social services, we've had it from job centres, we've had it from um, DWP centres where they think somebody needs some support. Our only criteria is that that person has the will, want and capacity to change. I mean, last year I had a mental breakdown, really bad breakdown, and it was contemplating taking my own life. I wasn't brushing my hair, I wasn't getting washed, I wasn't saying to myself, I wasn't doing absolutely anything, I was an absolute mess. I met Laura uh, last year, 15 months ago. We had a coffee and then she told me a story. And I just went, wow, how can anybody go through that and not have uh, anybody supporting her or intervening in her life? I take her to the ESA appointments, the doctors, just to be there with her, to give her that encouragement. The whole backbone of this project are the volunteers and we look after them as best we can. We've got a link in now with Derby College for MVQs which are done, they've, ad they've adjusted their course um, for customer services to bring in community peer mentors. So all of a sudden somebody whose CV has been didn't, non-existent all of a sudden have lots of qualifications and they go off and get jobs. A large majority of our uh, volunteers have previous convictions some have been in prison for quite long sentences. Um, we have people in recovery from drug, alcohol and gambling. We have survivors of domestic and sexual abuse. We have barristers, we have a solicitor, we have social workers, we have people who drive lorries. But the main thing is that they have lots of lived experience. Jim and Liz both helped me to get better by making me see that what had happened to me wasn't my fault something I had no control over completely changed my perspective because sometimes you think the police are only there to arrest people and they're not allowed because it saved my life, this game. It's been a, an honour to work with Laura and she is a prime example that if you treat people with respect and give them back their self-worth and empower them, they can do so much. My life now is amazing. <laughs> I'm going to college next week. I'm starting college next week. I have three sons who still have the mum. And all at school and nursery, all happy. I go out a lot more on my own. I go shopping on my own. I brush my hair a lot more often. Life's just good now.